Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indie Comics Jones. Today is March 28th, 2021, and this is episode 249. We have Diamond Previews today. This will be for April order, June arrival at your local book comic book store, if all goes well. On the cover here, we've got Mark Millar's and Tommy Lee Edwards' Jupiter's Legacy Requiem, which will be coming a Netflix show, bleh, Netflix show coming in June. All right, uh, let's let's head over to Image to see what's going on. Here's their kind of their contents page, and let me scoot this over a bit, and you can get a good look at this. Feel free to pause this at any time. In order to read some of the things, if you got it up on your computer screen, I think you should be able to read some of them. Okay, let's start off as we were talking about Mark Millar just a second ago. Jupiter's Legacy, Requiem, one of five. Mark Millar is the writer. Artist is Tommy Lee Edwards, and you get a good shot of it. Here's a couple uh, variant covers, and then we have some interior art too. So you can check that out and see how you like it just by pausing. Okay, let's go to the next book by Image is Spawn's Universe Number One, the gem of the month. Todd McFarlane is the writer. Then he has a crew of artists, including Todd. And we get some interior art here. And very, looks like, a, could that be a female Spawn? I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see on that. Um, we get some nice interior art here. <clears throat> And then we get this oh wow splash page. Like, oh wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. As yeah, Spawn takes on, looks like a gang of knife wielding thugs. Compass, one of five. Writer is Robert McKenzie and Dave Walker. The artist is Justin Greenwood. And you get some interior art on this. Jim Lives, the mystery of the lead singer of The Doors and The 27 Club. This writer is Paola, or Paolo Baron. The artist is Ernesto Carbonetti. And there he is, the infamous lead singer of The Doors. Many great songs. My favorite is uh, Riders on the Storm, of course. And you get a little interior art. Cain and Abel. I believe this is more of a trade paperback type thing, but it is, I think, a one-shot. Writer on this is Sh Shaky Kane and Crent Abel. Artist is Shaky Kane and Crent Abel. There you go, Cain and Abel. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Looks like it's 72 pages for $12.99. Next up, the six side kits of kicks of Trigger Keaton, number one. This is Kyle Stearns as writer. Chris Schwezler, Schwelzer as the artist. I think I got that name right. I apologize for all the names I butcher and murder. And there you go. There's your sidekicks. Vinyl, one of six by Doug Wagner. Artist is Daniel Hilliard. Maybe some kind of supernatural murder mystery. Ant. Number 12, writer Eric Larson, cover Mario Goli. So uh, Eric Larson is doing the interior art on this as well as the, as the writing and cover A. So I guess that's cover A, my guess. Birthright, number 50. Okay, I think we might be into the regular ones. We'll take a, a quick look at some of these. Real fast before we move on. Deep Beyond I'm reviewing. Homesick Pilots I'm reviewing. And
And now we're at the Pierce, we're into the trades, but let me make sure that's it. There's some manga readers stuff from Image. I reviewed number one on this. It was a not recommend. And I reviewed the first seven issues of this die. That is a not a recommend. It started out pretty good. In my opinion. Okay, I think we are out of the number ones. So let's go ahead and pop to the next one. Oh, Noctera, we are reviewing that as well. Now we have Dark Horse, North M Mythology 2. This is one of five. Neil Gaiman is the writer. Craig Russell is the artist. And we get a nice little look at some of the interior art as well as a variant cover. Black Hammer Reborn, one of 12. Jeff Lemire is the writer. Caitlin Yarsky is the artist. And again, variant cover in there. And some interior art. I think Dark Horse had a lot, if I'm not mistaken, for June. Number ones. The Worst Dudes, one of five. Aubrey Stitter Sitterston. Tony Gregory is the artist. Lobo meets the Big Lebowski, but with more censored. I don't know if that's good or not. Then, okay, then Black Hammer, the Vision. Parasomnia, Parasomnia, one of four. This is Colin Bryan, the writer. Andrea Muti is doing the art. We get the, uh, that actually looks pretty good for a uh, variant cover. And... That's not bad either for the regular cover. It just looks some kind of weird, dreamy, surrealistic existence, I believe, in this one. The Secret Land, one of four. Christopher England and Tomanka Evra. There you go. There's the cover. Interior art. Apex Overtime. One of four, Jesse Stern in writing, Neil Edwards penciling, and Keith Champagne is doing the inking. So you get that nice look on that. And there's the cover. Now we're into trade paper bags, and that might be it. Take a quick up. Oh, maybe not. Let's see what we got here. Emojin of the way, of the wording way. That's over here. Well, it's a one shot from Mike Migol Mignolia. Mignola, excuse me. <laughs> and Christopher Golden. Now, um, Emojin also appeared in Lady Baltimore. I don't know if this is going to be a tie in with Lady Baltimore or not, but uh, we'll have to see. She is kind of like a um, witch, as I recall. And there we go. Okay, we're going to skip through a bunch now because these are all ongoing series. We'll go over to IDW. They didn't have a lot, as I recall. Here's Marvel Action Avengers. Che Grayson, artist Ark Revner. Graphic novel for Marie Curry. Marie Curry. Francis and... Dreasen, oh boy, I can't even see that. Osterfeld. Okay. <laughs> and I believe that might be it for them. IDW just didn't really have a lot. We'll take a quick look to make sure we're not missing anything. Just an annual for Teenage Mutant, Mutant Turtles. Okay, let's go to the next one, which I believe is... Oh, no, this is still IDW. Yusagi, Yojimbo, The Dragon Below, Conspiracy, one of six. Writer is Stan Sakai, cover David Peterson. So uh, Stan did the interior art on this as well. 
very nice. Let's see if there's any more IDW. Doesn't look like it. Let's go to our next one, which I believe is Dynamite. We're going to just show all Dynamite because this is nothing but eye candy here. Dynamite lives number one. Just soak all those different covers in. There's some interiors of Dynamite Lives, number one. Petty, Betty Page and Curse of the Banshee, number one. And again, a ton of covers for Betty Page. And some information. If you want to pause, you could read all that, probably. Your eyes might be better than mine. Here's some interiors down here, and there's some sketches of Miss Page. Okay, we'll go slow again. Sort of this eye candy, this great art. Some better than other. Vampirella. Just your normal garden Pharrell version of Vampirella here. Because she's got many other things. Red Shot, Red Sonia One Shot, 1982. I don't know if this is supposed to be kind of a spin-off of Wonder Woman 1984, but there you go. And then they have 1992 as well, which is a one-shot for Vampirella. And there's a trade paperback. James Bond, which we are reviewing currently on this channel. Sonya Versal and a number of Covers once again. Red Sonia number 28. And a trade paperback over on this side. It's a nice cover there. Sacred Six. Vampirella versus Purgatory, number four. So you double the the pleasure on these. <laughs> Vengeance of Vampirella. They've turned Vampirella into quite the franchise here. It's got blue lips and red lips. some black lips okay and there we got i think that's it for dynamite we'll go one more page just in case oh you can get this bust <laughs> vampirella all right now we're into boom good luck one of five matthew ehrman illustrated by stefano simone or Simeon. Simeon, I don't know. And there you go. There's looks like different covers for that, perhaps. Basilisk number one, Colin Bunn again. Illustrated by Jonas Scarf. Scharf. Scarf? Scharf? I'm not sure on that one. There's some interior art and a couple variant covers. But I do not see a basilisk in there. I must be missing that. Save Yourself Number One by Bones L Leopard and illustrated by Kelly and Nicole Matthews. And there you go. There's a cover. Interior, interior. Probably a variant. Probably a variant. It's a four ninety nine. Hard to believe we've got 499 comics now. 80 days. This is a hardcover. Okay, now but we might be done. Let's just go through this real quick. There's some interior art of this 80 days trade. Nope. Power Rangers Unlimited. Edge of Darkness number one. Frank Google. Simon Ragazzoni. You get a couple covers. And 
looks like we're done with our Mighty Morphin Power Rangers there. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Tea Time. Number one, Mirka Aldolfa. This is the writer, illustrated by Sia Ohm. Oh, you know, I remember, right, might remember Sia from doing some Aspen work for especially her own book, Lola. And I think we might be done with Boom. I think Dark Horse now has had the most new things. Berserker, we're reviewing this one. I gave this one a not recommend. Hopefully uh, you guys are jiving with my picks and it's, I'm saving you some money on some of these. Out of Body, number one. This is for Aftershock. Peter Mulligan, writer. Artist is Inaki Miranda. So it's like a strange one. Floating bodies and all kinds of stuff. Bunny Mask, number one. This is Paul Tobin. Artist is Andrea Muth. Or Muti, I'm sorry. And Andrea looks like a guy. Okay, we got uh, some interior art and two covers. Seven Swords, number one, by Evan Dougherty, or Daughtery. Um, Ricardo Latina is the artist. Nice covers. I like these. Some interior. And then it goes on. Okay, now we'll pick up as we go through some of these smaller publishers. Uh, let's see, number one, Farthest Star. This is coming from American Mythology. I've really liked a lot of the series out of here, especially the things that Mike Wolfer's run or read, wrote, written. Excuse me. It's on this page. Hatchet, Unstoppable Horror, number one. Trade paperback that's uh, Mike Wolfer. Okay, and we'll skip ahead to Awa. This is Moss. J. Michael Straczynski. It's illustrated by Mike Choi. And you get a, a variant cover there. It looks pretty cool. A little bit of interior art, not too much. Just enough to whet our appetites. Man's World, we're reviewing this. It hasn't finished yet, but they got already the trade coming out in June. And I think that's going to be it for a while. I'm going to skip way ahead to Oni Press, Rick and Morty, Rick's New Hat, number one. Alex Firer, and illustrated by Fred C. Stressing. Interior art, and one, looks like one variant cover. See if they got anything else. Eighth grade witch. Mm. These look like trade paperbacks. All right, let's go ahead to let's see about this one. Yep, this one. Sh shooting by. Let's figure out where this one is. Me. Okay, where's the number one on this page? <laughs> it's on here somewhere. Oh, Chaos Agent, right here. This is... Oh, who is this? Oh, Scout Comics. There we go. Writer, Denez Camp. And then... Uh, boy, I can't, under, I can't even pronounce that, the artist's name there. But Chaos Agent for Scout. And moving on, we've got Darling Number One from Source Point. Michael Frezak and Todd Hunt. Artist is Dave Mims. Okay. 
Okay. Titan Comics, V.E. Schwab's Extraordinary Number 1 of 4 coming out. There you go. You get a little bit of a look at that. And a lot of variant covers for it as well. V.E. Schwab is the writer. Artist is Ened Malum. Then we have Blade Runner Origins, which is being reviewed on this channel. It is, we've done two issues. It is a recommend right now. So stay tuned on that one. Let's see if they have anything more. It doesn't look like it. We'll pop ahead to the next one, which is Vault. Barbaric. Number one, the writer is Michael Morisi. Artist is Nathan Gooden. Let me get a couple looks at things here. Looks like Blue Flame is number two. Engine Ward number 12. Final issue. We are reviewing all of the issues on Engine Ward. It's been a recommend so far. Whoa. Something just flipped out. Besides me flipping out, I just lost my place on something here. I don't see anything. Okay, I think we're good. We got everything on this. Okay, Xenoscope. It looks like they just have one new one, and it is this comic over here, Grim Spotlight, Hercules Pain versus the Scorpion Queen by Joe Brucia. I believe it is a one-shot. Yeah, it is at five ninety-nine. 